What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here and welcome to another unboxing video. In this video, we're going to be unboxing the 2017 January BAM box! Apparently this is their anniversary box. Before I open this, I just want to say that this box hadn't been doing so hot lately. There's been a lot of controversy about this box specifically and um, I was, I saw a lot of the people post videos. I clicked on the video, I did not watch the video, but I was reading comments and a lot of the comments were saying that this was the best BAM box that they've ever created. So, because of that, my expectations are a little bit higher than normal, but we'll see how it goes. If you're interested in getting this box, I'm going to put all of the pricing details in the description below for you. Once you cut the tape and you open the box, this is what you're going to see. This box is super light, so I don't know. Oh no, I don't want this. Ew. Oh, it's signed though. That's nice. This is creepy. Let's see what we have in here. This is so... This is like the creepiest mask I've ever seen in my life. Oh no, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? This is scary, but it's autographed. I guess I'm just gonna show you this item. This is the first item that we got in the box. This thing is so creepy and so scary. I don't like things like this, but it is autographed. I don't know who it's autographed by, but this is a mask. So let's see what we have. There's some kind of certificate of authenticity. I guess it's for the whole box, I guess. Like, it's saying that they obtained all of this stuff, I don't know, on their own. Whoa. I don't know what the theme of this box. I feel like I'm not going to know anything that's in this box. What the heck is the theme? Okay, we got this. This is a license plate. Stincilously? Stinklesy. Steinklesy? Stink. What is this from? Steinklesy. Stinklesy? Steinklesy? I don't know what this represents. Let's keep looking. <laughs> the next item we got is. Okay, so what this is, it's very strange. It's not a comic book, it's a print of a copy of a comic book cover that is. It looks like it's signed by Rocky. It's a really, really old school comic. It's a Battle Bros. Again, it's not the actual comic book. It's like a print of a copy of the cover of the comic book. And there's your Rocky signature, it looks like. So I guess this is a, that's odd, but it's cool because it's autographed, but it's odd that it's a print of a copy of the cover instead of just giving us a, an actual copy of the comic book. Although it definitely looks old. I think it's just made to look old though because it says BAM all over it. So I feel like it's a comic book cover that was made to look like a really old school comic book cover and it's not really just, it's not a real comic, it's just like a, the art of it. Next we have this. This is from Street Fighter. I don't know what Street Fighter this is actually from. So this is a piece of artwork that is authentic to Street Fighter. There are no two alike in the world. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's neat. I like that. That's very cool. You know what this is? This is almost like an overhead projector sheet or something. Or maybe that's just the cover of... Oh, so I'm sorry. The drawing's on the paper and then they have a protective sheet over it. This is from the Animation Inc. Archive. Okay, that's neat. And that was all the items. Um, I mean, I feel like this is actually pretty valuable. I just don't really know... I just am not a fan of it, but let's go ahead and look at this and see. Hey, did I drop the pin? Yes, I did. The pin fell out of the box, sorry. Here's your pin, and it's a hat. The theme was anniversary, and it says strange on it. Okay, so the parody pins. This is um, the hat uh, from Stranger Things, and apparently you will see the hat we put in signed by Ganesha. So I guess some of these have been signed by uh, Gatton Mistarzo, who's Dustin in Stranger Things. They put the zombie knuckle punch paperweight pin, and then they had a limited pin set, um, the BAM one year anniversary. There's there's basically two different types that were um, numbered one out of 250. We did not get any of the special edition pins, and we also didn't get the signed pin, but we got we just got the regular pin. So these were the special edition pins that you could have received. Oh, let's do pricing. I'll give that pin $4. Probably could just give it three, but I'm gonna give it four. The exclusives this month. So, two of the most incredibly. Um, I guess you either got Eeny Meeny Miny Mo by Chris Uminga or you got Battle Bros by Rocky Davis. So these are the two options or the two 
things that you could have got. I got this one, and this was the other one that you could have received. Again, it looks like this is autographed. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to go with yes, it is. And I'm going to go ahead and give that $5. We got the custom hockey mask signed by Ari Lemon, who is the original Jason Voorhees. Apparently, this was one of the, like, I think this was one of the drops they had at one point. And then they say that no two masks are alike, so these masks were painted custom or whatever. That's a cool item, and it's it's autographed. I would probably give that $20. I think the mask is probably worth $10, and the autograph on it is probably worth $10. This thing scares the crap out of me. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it's cool that it's like a big item, and it's autographed. I'm just, I'm just not a huge fan of it. Okay, we got our animation cells. There was a bunch of different ones that you could have received. You could have either gotten one from Ghostbusters, Sonic, Captain, and or Street Fighter and more. So we got Street Fighter right here. I think this is a really, really neat item. I don't really know what the value of this is worth. I would probably say that that could be worth $10, but it probably could be worth a little bit more than that. But I'm going to give it $10. And then the last item we got was our full-size license plates from either Ferris Bueller's Day Off, um, Knight Rider, or Anchorman 2. So I've never seen Anchorman 2, but I guess this one is from that. The other ones that you could have received are the Nervous from Ferris Bueller's Day Off, I can't say his name, or you could have gotten the one that says Knight, and that is from Knight Rider. Is it supposed to say stay classy? Stay classy? Stay, stay in classy! Stay in classy! Is that what it's supposed to mean? Come on. Yay. All right. Oh, and for the license plate, I'd probably give this, I'd probably give this, uh, seven dollars six or seven dollars we'll say seven so according to my pricing this box is worth forty six dollars and how much does this box cost I know they lowered the price a little bit I think thirty five dollars which means we got eleven dollars extra value in tab we paid for it we probably want about twelve fifty extra value um, based off of a thirty five dollar price point but at the end of the day I am happy about this box just because it has good items in it nothing this box one of the things you know they've been making changes to it and it's just, you know, I'm not a huge fan. I like the design in this box, so it's very cool. I'm not a huge fan of, like, autographed items. I thought I was and then realized that there probably are certain things that I really enjoy, and then there's things that I'm kind of like, eh. So I feel like I don't connect as much with this box in general. But I actually thought this was a pretty cool box. The cool thing about it is that it seems like for their anniversary theme, what they did was they put a lot of items that people enjoyed throughout the year in this box. So it's like the best of box. So it makes sense that people really enjoyed this box. I had to rate this box. I would probably just give this box a four out of five noobs. I appreciate all the autographed items. I do like them a lot. And then I also like the value. I thought the value, I still think they could have gotten a little bit more value. And I know I did price things low. So, you know, you could add probably more money to this and it would be better. But for me personally, I think that they, I think they were still lacking a teeny bit in value. But it wasn't as bad as in the past. Um, I like the items that they gave. I thought they were, you know, they were good. They were good. They were cut, not exclusive, but a little bit more one of a kind ish type of item. So I do appreciate that. But yeah, I'd probably say a four to five noobs is what I would give this box just in general, you know, based off the items and the value. It's not my favorite band box. I don't really know what my favorite band box has been in the past. I'd have to look back, but it's better than what it has been the past few months. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more boxing videos, go check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. Do you think that this was the best band box that they've ever had? That's what people were saying, so I just wanted to ask and see what you guys thought. But what, in general, what do you guys think about this box? This box has been struggling a lot lately. So do you think that this box is on the up and up? Do you think that this box kind of brought it back to the standards of all subscription boxes or whatever it is that NerdBlock said about them? Um, let me know in the comment section below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or sent to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Don't forget to enter my 2017 January giveaway, which is happening on my channel now. Go to my video, scroll down till you find that video with the instructions, watch it, and enter the giveaway by Tuesday, January 31st at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for your chance to win a one-month subscription to a box of your choosing. You guys, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! From Ferris Bueller, from Ferris Bueller, from Ferris, um, Bueller's